Hi, and welcome to the Trico Maintenance Room, where today we'll be going through the installation of the Trico Closed System Optomatic Oiler on our Goulds MTX pump. Now we've selected the hot setup kit from Trico, which includes all of these parts that you see here on the table, everything you need for the installation of this system. Now we've selected the closed system kit from Trico for a few different reasons. In this case, we're looking for enhanced bearing protection. But if you have an application where you're running into pressure or vacuum problems, closed system also addresses that. Now before we get started with the installation of the oiler, there's a few things we want to take note of. The first is the shaft rotation of the pump, and that's notated here on the pump casing by an arrow. We want to make sure that as the bearing swells through the oil, the swell of oil is coming towards the oiler. So in this case, our shaft rotation is going clockwise, and we want to be on this side of the pump in which the oil is swelling towards. The next is that actual oil level that's desired inside of the bearing housing. Now the proper level for bath lubrication of a bearing is halfway up the lowest ball. And we've indicated that on the outside of our pump casing by this white line. Now we've pre-installed some of the fittings here for our application on this MTX to get us into the working range of the oiler notated here between the screws on the level indicator. We've selected an elbow and we're gonna mount into the bottom fluid port as opposed to the rear fluid port for this specific installation. Now we're gonna seal the rear fluid port with the provided plug and then install the elbow for the pressure balancing line using the provided thread sealant. Now to begin the installation of our oiler onto the pump, we're gonna start by loosening the set screw on the back of the upper reservoir assembly, separating that from the lower casting and setting it aside. Then we wanna take some of our hydraulic thread sealant and apply it to those threads on the pump and then thread on our lower casting until it's hand tight. Then we'll finish tightening with a pipe wrench until the sight gauge is facing forward. Now because we've chosen the installation kit from Trico, our oiler has come with these fittings in which we've pre-installed. One of those is a JIC fitting that connects to the also included stainless steel braided line. Let's take a look at the installation of that. We'll start by connecting it to the JIC fitting up on the breather assembly and connect the other end to the elbow that we previously installed on the back of the oiler. Next, we'll install our desiccant breather, starting by removing the red cap from the bottom and threading it onto the nipple up on the breather fitting. Once that's tight, remove the rubber band covering the check valves. So next we're gonna set our lower collar assembly to the desired oil level. Now I'm gonna use a level here and butt that up against the bottom of the collar and get it directly to the desired level on the pump housing and then adjust the Allen head screws to tighten that collar into position. That's gonna set the proper oil level inside of the oiler. Next, we're gonna start the initial fill of our bearing housing, and we're gonna use a spectrum container here to fill through the lower casting of the optomatic, and we're gonna do that until we begin to see pooling in the bottom of the lower casting. Now to finalize our installation, we're gonna fill the upper reservoir assembly with oil. We wanna make sure not to fill it more than two thirds full to prevent any kind of vapor lock once it's installed. Finally, we'll take our upper reservoir assembly and tip it onto the lower casting seating down the upper assembly against that collar and tightening the set screw on the back. As a reminder, when filling or refilling the upper reservoir assembly, be sure the Allen head screws that hold the level collar in place are sufficiently tightened. On occasion, these could work themselves loose. Make sure that when you replace the reservoir, the collar does not slide downward. This will lower the critical level the oiler maintains, potentially causing lubrication issues. Alternatively, a collar with preset level holes at eighth inch increments is available. 
This design aids in preventing inadvertent level adjustment during refilling. These collars are an easy and direct replacement for standard slotted collars. Contact Trico for more information. That concludes our installation of the Trico Optimatic Close System on our Goulds MTX pump. If you got any questions, reach out to us. Thanks for watching.